let me share my screen with you. And uh, actually, someone was just asking me just now about whether the video I made yesterday, which was about improving your bridge memory, is on my uh, YouTube channel. And you can see it is there, so you should be able to find it. You can just search for my name, or and you should be able to see all my recent videos. And <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today is situations involving decisions about whether to double the opponents when the opponents might be sacrificing against you or whether you should think about outbidding them in certain situations and these are uh, somewhat tricky decisions um let's start by looking at this hand which actually was from uh, a couple of years ago and you can see this was played in one of the gentle duplicate sessions you can see that nearly all the north south here are in game are in four hearts or four spades everyone made game at least the computer says that you can make five hearts or five spades um but a top score here went to um this pair here who played it in five diamonds by east going down three and although it went down three it wasn't doubled and so east was West got a very good score for that of minus 150, which was a top score. And this was a hand really where East West shouldn't have got away with uh, doubling, uh, with being in five diamonds. And let's have a look at the hand and let's see what we think about it. So um, <clears throat> this was the hand as it was actually bid. North opened a spade. East made a jump over call of three diamonds and South bid three hearts. West bid four diamonds and North supported the hearts, bid four hearts, but East now bid five diamonds. And in a situation like this, you need to think about your hand, think about what you've shown and try to think, are the opponents going to make five diamonds? Should I go on and bid five hearts or double? And the things you're going to be looking at are things like your trump length. So here, the south hand has got very, very good trump length. I mean, you're rather weak in points. You've only got eight points in high cards, but you have a seven card heart fit and your partner has a fit for you. Um, in hearts presumably they have three or more hearts so it looks like you've got really good trumps and if you're thinking of taking some action here you would be more inclined to bid five hearts rather than than double so I think there's a good case here for the south hand to bid five hearts and actually I've got some polls coming up later on on different hands where you'll need to use your judgment about whether to outbid the opponents to pass or to uh, double. And these are difficult situations and sometimes you'll get them wrong. I will say that as well. Um, the other thing you need to look at, of course, is also the vulnerability. Um, here, uh, no one is vulnerable. And uh, if you were, if the opponents were vulnerable, you'd be more thinking of doubling them. Um, uh, but here, I, I'm not going to double them. Uh, I, I think I might well decide to bid five hearts. On, on this actual hand, South actually passed <clears throat> the five diamond bid. And it came back round to North. And this is the North hand. And North, again, you should be thinking about taking some action here. Now, here, you've got a very different kind of hand. You've got, um, I think, 17 points only three hearts and you should be thinking more in terms of of doubling here you with 17 points you suspect your partner is showing something like 10 points for their bid of three hearts although they don't have that so you should be aware that the opponents probably are sacrificing against you the other good things about this hand in terms of trying to defeat five diamonds is you have a good diamond holding you've got four diamonds which hopefully will make uh, one or two tricks there and your spade holding is good as well 
because your partner didn't bid spades, you hope you'll be able to make at least a couple of spade tricks there. Not necessarily the case in, in hearts, because you've got um, a very good heart fit, perhaps, and the opponents might be short. But this is a hand where really, if South hasn't bid five hearts, North, I think, should double. Um, as it was when, when the opponents bid five diamonds, as I said, um, both South passed, which I think is a mistake, and North passed also, which is another mistake. And um, if I click on the GIB link, you can see that you can actually defeat it by three tricks, which is what happened. And if you had double five diamonds and it defeated it by three tricks, that would have been a score of 500 um, non-vulnerable. Um, so you would have changed that 150 that you actually got to 500 and you would have converted what's a bottom score for North South to a top score. So a lot of people are, I think, a bit too reluctant to compete when the opponents are, are bidding against them and particularly reluctant to double. If it seems like the opponents are outbidding you, if it seems like you have the majority of the points, you should be thinking about um, doubling the opponents if they seem to be sacrificing against you. Does anyone have any comments on that one? So let's look at a few hands here. And this is one where South has opened three diamonds. Here again, no one is vulnerable on this hand. Your partner West doubles, which is for takeout. And North bids five diamonds. And over to you now, what are you going to bid on this hand? And I'm going to launch a poll in a moment with three options. You can either pass, you can double, or you can bid five hearts. So have a little think about it. And here comes the poll. What should East bid on this hand? No one is vulnerable. Give you a moment to think about it. Okay, let me end the poll there. And I'm going to share the results with you. And majority about uh, two to one have gone for double over five hearts and no one passed. So I think, uh, I let's go back to that. I, I, I think I agree with that uh, on balance. Um, you've got what, 11, uh, 12 points there. And your partner has double. Presumably, they've got a sound hand, you know, an opening hand with the, you know, the unbid suits, especially in the majors. You should imagine having something like twelve plus points. So you have the majority of points between you, and it looks like you've got a fit, uh, especially in hearts. But are you necessarily going to make five hearts? It, it's sort of hard to make, um, you know, five level rather than four level bids. And I'm pretty confident that they're not going to make five diamonds here. Um, I've got the ace of diamonds, which is a good defensive value. And just in terms of points, I think they are probably sacrificing against me. And uh, I think I'm more inclined to double than to, to bid five hearts here. The problem with five hearts is, is being sure you're going to make it. Anyway, let's suppose that you uh, do double and that ends the auction. And this is your partner's hand. And this was actually the quiz I sent out at the weekend where West is on lead and leads the uh, ace of clubs against five diamonds. And down comes dummy. and you win the first trick with the ace of clubs. And the question was in the in the quiz, what should you play next? Well, let's have a little think about this. Um, first of all, your partner's double of the five diamonds probably means that they have a pretty good hand too. And you can see that North isn't particularly strong. They've got eight points 
They have three diamonds, though, to, um, in support of their partner, seven diamonds, presumably. So they have a good fit in diamonds. But you clearly have much more strength between you than North-South have. And North has bid five diamonds to try to keep you out of the auction. And they are trying to, they're basically sacrificing against you. They have far fewer points than you. And very often when that is the case, you should think about possibly drawing trumps on this hand. In fact, if I click on the GIB button, it will say that this contract, five diamonds, can actually be made if you lead anything other than a trump. And you're leading a trump here to cut down on the ability of declarer to rough spades in dummy. You can see that singleton spade there, and presumably South has got some spades they would like to rough, and you should do your best to stop that happening by switching to a trump here. And I would lead, yes, a trump here should lead to the contract being defeated. The only time in this kind of layout where you might sort of think perhaps that's not such a good idea would be maybe if you had the king of diamonds, if you had, say, the king and the eight of diamonds, then leading a diamond is not so attractive there because it's probably going to cost you a trick. Um, assuming, you know, declare has got the, the ace. If you lead away from your king, then you may not make a trick, which you otherwise would make. But if you have a, a holding like this, um, then it's pretty safe to, to lead a diamond. And that, as I said, can lead to the defeat of the contract. What will happen if you lead the diamond is that your partner should cooperate with you, take their ace and lead another diamond back. And what you've basically done is got rid of two diamonds from dummy. So if you look at the south hand here, you can see south has got all these spade losers here. And by you drawing two rounds of trumps, they now won't be able to, uh, to rough, uh, rough most of those spades. So Declarer might, actually all the trumps are gone now, so uh, Declarer might start on spades, roughing a spade, which he can rough one, but he's left with two spade losers that he can't do anything about. So if he plays a heart, uh, he can uh, rough a heart in his hand. He may as well play off uh, all the diamonds, or but at the end, he should be left with two spade losers. And with the best possible defense there, he, he'll be defeated by two tricks. You can't do any better than that, but you can stop him making uh, five diamonds. Um, it's interesting to see, look at this hand and, and see whether you're actually going to make five hearts on this hand. And it sort of depends on the defense, I think. You might just lose one spade. Okay. If you have, if you uh, unmute yourselves, would you um, stop any background noise uh, coming on, please? So, um, so it's interesting to see whether you would make five hearts on this hand, um, and you might just lose a spade and a heart. Uh, and you might not lose any diamonds, you might not lose any clubs, so you might make it. On the other hand, the opponents may well be able to uh, get some roughs in there because uh, you can see there's a singleton, um, singleton spade there. So five hearts could be defeated. It might make, uh, depending on the defense, but um, you definitely should be able to defeat five diamonds. So probably best to bid uh, to make a double there rather than bidding five hearts. Any uh, comments or questions on that? Yes, please. Yes, Francis. On the first trick, yeah. would it be advisable, although the rule is to play high-low with a double turn, to actually play your nine? Because mm. I think the jack encourages you to think that maybe they've got a void and mm. they could trump. Well... That, uh, that's a very good question, Francis. Um, yeah, if if um, West leads the um, ace of clubs and you see dummy, which club should you play? Well, 
normally when they lead the ace, you might be thinking they've got the ace and the king. And so you might be thinking of um, playing high and then low um, to encourage. The problem on this hand is that you can see all those clubs in dummy. And in fact, there are like, they were started off with uh, six clubs in dummy. So you can be pretty certain that South has got very few clubs here. And you probably actually don't want to encourage your partner to continue clubs um, because there's a there's a danger if you do. I mean, as you can see on this hand, if they carry on with the king, the Claire will be able to rough that and it sets up the queen. So that might be of use. So um, yes, arguably East should probably possibly not encourage, or even if he does encourage with the uh, Jack, West, once he sees that long club suit, should probably think about shifting to another suit anyway. Um, I suppose the problem here, if you if you play the nine, that kind of looks encouraging as well. They're, they're both um, uh, they're both high cards. Although your partner could tell if you played the nine that the um, jack is still out. So um, it it's hard. It, I think it, the onus East may well not encourage in that situation. And maybe West should, once he sees the long club suit in Dummy, should probably shift to another suit anyway for fear. Yeah. Of... It's interesting that you mentioned that one should look at the Dummy to see how many clubs there are, because I didn't think of that. So that's no. interesting. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's my main thought on that. With all those clubs, I think, gosh, I don't really want my partner to continue uh, clubs there, probably. Anyway, so that was um, that was that on that one let's have a look at another one and again i've got a, a bidding question for you here this was actually a hand that was um played recently and the bidding went like this it went one heart by south two club over call you as north raised to three hearts i think that's a pretty uh good bid you've got 10 points and four hearts your partner bid four hearts and west bid five clubs and I've got a similar question for you now. What do you think North should bid on this hand? The vulnerability is as shown there, North, South are vulnerable, East, West are not. And I've got a poll in a moment with some similar choices. Do you think North should bid again or should they pass or should they double? And here comes the poll. Let me um, share the results with you. And majority here, 73% went for double with a small number, three each going for pass or for five hearts. And let's um, have, a, have a look at this um, and see what we think. Well, what are all what are the factors involved here? One is that West initially bid two clubs and now all on their own have come in with five clubs here. So um, that is you know a pretty bold bid by West. They haven't had any support from their partner. Um, and maybe they are bidding a bit aggressively. Um, two we need to think about whether we're going to make five hearts here and i don't have any particular reason to think that we are going to um i've just got you know relatively flat hand with just four trumps there i've already shown shown that um so i'm not inclined to bid five hearts but i am inclined to take some action here because they're outbidding us now. We were about to play this in four hearts, and now they're bidding five clubs. And my hand is much more um, oriented towards um, defense against five clubs. Although I don't have particularly anything in clubs, I do have two aces in spades and diamonds. And those aces in a suit that we haven't bid are almost certainly going to take tricks there. So I just need one more trick from my partner. And don't forget they are an opening hand there. So I think there's every likelihood that we're going to defeat five clubs. 
and no certainty that we're going to make five hearts. So, yes, I agree with the majority of you. I agree with the double in this situation, which obviously will be your partner will understand is intended for penalties. Now, every now and then you will double in a situation like this and the opponents will actually make five clubs. And actually, this was the actual hand here. North actually um, passed here and allowed West to play this in five clubs undoubled. And West nearly made it. Um, in fact, they were only um, defeated by one trick. He, even with best defense, you'll just get them down by one trick. But I think you really should be, as you can see, West has got a really good hand for their um, for their club over call. So they're not going to lose any clubs on this hand. And all they're going to lose is probably just um, one diamond and two spades. Um, but nonetheless, it can be defeated. And you you really, I think, should be should be doubling this. Every now and then you'll double it and they'll actually make it. But otherwise, you know, they're, they're going to be outbidding you and they'll get to know that you're not very... Um, you're not very bold in terms of your doubling. So so I think I would definitely double here. Um, you can also look at this hand to see whether you think you're going to make five hearts looking at the two hands um, together. And I think you're probably just going to make four hearts because you're going to lose. Uh, well, in hearts, you get a terrible break, but you probably still don't need to lose any hearts. But I think you're going to lose a club. and quite possibly two diamonds. So you'd probably make four hearts, but not five hearts. So really the best you can do is, is to double five clubs there if they uh, if they bid that. Okay, any comments on that one? So, so the things that, that made us um, double rather than um, bid five hearts there was a sort of fairly ordinary hand without exceptional length in hearts but with two side aces, which, which do make tricks. Okay. Um, Tony? Yes. Um, the one other thing is that we're vulnerable. Yeah, sorry, I meant to... Yes, that, that's right. So we're vulnerable. Yes, I meant to mention that. Um, yes, I mean, the vulnerability is a sort of interesting thing. It East-West are not vulnerable here, so that's probably going to make them bid more aggressively here. Um, and um, it, it would mean that if we if we if we were going to make four hearts, we'd have to defeat them more in in five clubs. So so going down, we'll only we'll only get a, a plus score of one hundred here. Um, but that's probably the best we can do on this hand because we're we're probably not going to make five hearts. So the vulnerability doesn't affect it that much here. Um, but. Yes, you you would take that into account as to whether you, um, especially if they, uh, if you think you're going to defeat them, if they were vulnerable, then you'd be much more inclined to double than outbid them. Let's have a look at another one, and similar uh, question again. This will be the last poll of the afternoon. You've opened a heart. It's gone one spade, four hearts by your partner, four spades and over to you again. What are you going to bid, if anything, on this hand? You're going to pass, double, or bid? Are you thinking of bidding five hearts? Here, by the way, everyone is vulnerable on this one. So let me share, uh, let me uh, launch that last poll. Okay, let's um, share the results with you. And as I said, these are not necessarily hands where there is a right answer or a wrong answer. Um, most... Tony, yeah. so, sorry, could we have a don't know answer? <laughs> if, um, if, you're, if you're sat at your table and want to be don't know, um, things are going to get backed up pretty much. Because <laughs> you have to make a choice here, right?
Um, most of you went for five hearts, but 30% said double and 17% said pass. Um, so what do we think about this? Um, it's not obvious here. Um, you have a fairly ordinary one heart bid here, I would say. The thing you don't really know is what kind of hand your partner has. That four heart bid could be a relatively weak hand, but with very good trumps, um, kind of preemptive game raise, or they might have a slightly stronger hand where they've decided to raise you to four hearts immediately. Um, so it's kind of hard for you to, to know what your partner's got there. And you, I think, have got a fairly average sort of hand. You've got um, two aces, although one is in hearts, which is not necessarily that good. You've got the king of spades, um, but west has overcalled one spade, so maybe they're more likely to have the ace there, so maybe that's not such a good feature. Um, and you, you've you sort of, um, you know, described your hand pretty much in with, with your one heart bit. It, it's, there's nothing exceptional, really, one way or the other about this, this hand. And of all the bids I, I would make, I think I'd be most inclined to pass this. Um, in other words, a double would be suggesting we can defeat this. I, you know, that I, I can see a likelihood of us defeating four spades. Um, five hearts might be made, you know, if you had more except more length in trumps. Um, but here you have neither. And here I think there's not there's quite a good idea to pass and leave the final decision to your partner. Um, uh, now, it's really hard to tell, but you, you don't have a clear cut decision, let's say, uh, to either double or to bid five hearts. And you might well decide to pass. Now, let's suppose you do pass, but your partner bids five hearts. So let's suppose that that ends the auction there and or, you know, quite pleased that your partner took some action there. Um, and let's uh, see how it goes. Let's suppose the opponents lead a uh, spade, and you can see that North very much has a kind of hand where they should be bidding five hearts. They have exceptional trump length, and I think they had a clear-cut bid of five hearts. So let's stop to make a plan here, and let's um, make uh, plan counting our losers, which we're going to do from the point of view of the hand with a long trump suit, which is actually the north hand here. And how many losers do you have here in the north hand? You've got uh, no trump losers, of course. You've got two diamond losers and you've got a club loser. So unfortunately, it looks like you're um, could be one level too high. You have three potential losers two diamonds and a club. Um, however, the lead has given you a chance to make a trick with your king of spades. And the way to make this contract now is you've got to avoid the temptation to rough this. What, what you're going to do is play low here. You're going to discard a loser and because of that lead, it's a very fortunate lead for you. It means you will make a trick with your king of spades and you'll be able to discard um, a loser on that. So um, the key to making this hand here is not to rough, just discard a loser. We can discard a diamond loser. And let's just bring up the four hands at this point. You can see that East, if they want to win this trick, they're going to have to play the ace and that would promote your king. If they played low, you would win the king, and that would give you that extra trick as well. So if they play the ace here, you, of course, play low. Let's suppose they shift to a diamond. You can win that one with your ace. Now you would draw trumps. They actually just fall in one round. And what you've got now is you've set up that king of spades. So you can cross back to your hand, cash the king of spades, and discard a loser 
and now you're going to make all the rest except for uh, one club trick and you'll make your your five hearts on that one so that was one involving taking advantage of the opponent's lead there and resisting the temptation to rough you might also look at this hand and see whether it was actually going to make four spades or not and you can see they've got a, a fantastic spade fit but i don't think they'll make four spades they would um they would lose a spade as it turns out they'll lose a diamond and they're in danger of losing two clubs so uh four spades um what should go down one but of course you get a better score if you bid five hearts if you make that so um that was the lesson on this hand here i think south doesn't have a clear-cut action over the the four spade bid mainly because you don't know anything about your partner's hand it could be a wide range of hands there so i think you did probably best to pass and leave the decision to your partner anyway that was it for this afternoon's topic does anyone have any questions on any of that thank you Tony okay we'll we'll end the talk there